Thanks for watching Wood and Shop again. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. We're back here on the traditional desk build. And as you can see, uh, after I finished uh, uh, pegging up the tenons, the mortise and tenons on here, I set the top on the base and clamped it together exactly how I wanted it so that I can attach the top to the base. Now it's a little tricky. Uh, I kind of figured it out on my own, but also kind of confirmed it with some historical traditional woodworking books. So let's come around the back and I'll show you how I attach the top to the, the base because it's a little bit different than just doing it to a tabletop. All right, so I'm on the underside of the desk. And as you note, may notice here, there's no place to directly shoot up into like you would on an end table or a t normal table. So what we have to do is we actually have to uh, put a nail at an angle to go in. Uh, I've seen some historical books and furniture where they actually created old pocket holes, kind of like the modern pocket holes. Uh, but I, I have a, a method that I use that works for me. So what I do is I take an egg beater drill and you can see I've drilled a couple others already right here. But instead of starting it at an angle like that, it's a little hard to, to do. I put it a little more straight up. And sorry, you can see we have a we just had a baby, so I've got this band on my arm <laughs> in case you're wondering what it is. And then once it starts going in, I drop it down to an angle that looks good. That's it's uh, looks like it's going to shoot into the base of the desk, and I just drill like that. And you want to use some judgment when drilling this, because if you drill it too steeply like this, you'll find that the cut nail will exit out the front of the desk. And so I get it probably about right there. You can experiment with it. And I'm using these uh, cut fine finish nails, one and a half inches long. Uh, these are the ones that I've liked. I've tried some different ones. So, but you can try any different cut nails you like. This is just kind of a historical style that I really like. So I'm placing it going with the grain, the head of the nail. And a nail set doesn't work so well in a situation like this, especially since I'm not using a finish nail, I'm using a cut finish nail. So in this case, I would be using uh, a punch, a couple punches actually. So I like the fat punch for getting it down. And then a little bit finer one for setting it a little bit more. Now I'm not too bothered with getting it all the way down flush and below the level of the wood uh, because this is the inside of the desk. And if you look at a lot of historical furniture, you'll notice that if you look on the inside, they didn't really spend a lot of time finishing everything perfectly. They were making money. It wasn't about art for them. It was about feeding their families. And so I kind of like the, the look of it, a little bit of a rustic look, showing the nails not completely all the way in and some of the, the finishes, some of the finishing touches that you do on the outside kind of neglected on the inside. For me, it shows uh, a little bit more of the maker's mark. So I did this, uh, I put three in each apron going around, maybe two on the sides. Uh, and that is how you, well, at least that's how I attach these, uh, the base of the desk to the top of the desk. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you'll find free video tutorials, buying guides, workshop tours, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to receive my regular blog posts and YouTube videos, and don't forget to check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy!